Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to use the select node in Unreal Engine. Let's get started. This is the select node. It takes any number of options and it takes an index. Then it will return an option depending on what index you give it. Notice here you have an add pin button and what it does is that it adds options that you can use. Of course, if you were to use a enumerator, for example, this enumerator I have made, and you cannot add pins because it will use all the enumeration values and just list them here. Now here I have two examples. One example is a select node that is using a Boolean return type and an index of that custom enumerator. And if you want to know how to use or make enumerators, please check out the video here. The second example is a select node which is using a string return type and it's using a integer index value. Because it's using an index value, you can add pins and add as many options as you want. On the other hand, with an enumerator, you are limited to the enumeration values already set. So here I have a simple event that prints a string when you click on Q. And with this select node connected to the print string, we can change the index to something like two. So it will pick option two and print three to the screen. And there we go. And if we were to change it to option five, then it should print six to the screen. On the other hand, we have this example with the enumerator and the Boolean return values. Connecting this to the print string, we can change the index to two, which is an enumerator value of two, and it will print the Boolean value. So it should print true to the screen. Print true. And finally, we can change it to one and it should print false. So going back to this blank select node, notice when you first create a node, you have a index and you can choose what type you want to use. So you can choose from booleans, bytes, integers, and enumerators. And here, the option wildcard, to change it, you just right click, click on change pin type, and you can change the type to whatever you want. Another way to change the return value or the index is just to connect them directly. So here I have a variable, which is an integer type. You connect it, it automatically changes the index to an integer type. And if we were to plug the select node into the print string, it would change all these wildcards automatically to a string type. So depending on what use case you want, you can either change these option types manually or just connect them and they will automatically change. One thing to keep in mind is whenever this select node runs, it will evaluate every function or variable that you connect it to. So for example, here I have a pure function, and this is just a blank function that I made really quickly. But if you had a lot of code, say loops, line traces, things like that, and if you had many of these functions, then this select node will evaluate every single function, then return the option according to the index. So this is something important to keep in mind, because if you had very complex code in all these functions, then it definitely will slow the game down. To work around this, I suggest you use the switch on node. And I will make a video explaining that in the future. But simply put, you just drag out of any index type and you type switch on and then the enumerator or the int or the string that you want. For an integer, you just click on switch on int. The switch node will take a selection and then straight away switch to which execution pin that needs to be run. It will not evaluate all the execution pins. So this is something to keep in mind. If you use the select node with simple variables and simple functions, it should be fine. So in review, the select node takes a few inputs and has a return value output. It returns an option according to what index you use, and you can change each of the types to whatever you want. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And if you have any suggestions on other future tutorials I should make, please comment as well. Please check out my Patreon in the link below. And don't forget to like, share, and most of all, please subscribe. 
See you soon.